welcome to Cultivating Inner Beauty, where we're all about loving our healthy selves from hair, skin, and nutrition. And that, my friend, starts from within. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you five ways to curb emotional eating habits. Um, there's things in life that we can't control, but when it comes to our eating, we can make better, healthier decisions, especially when we're dealing with stress or things that just happen all of a sudden in our life and we turn to those comfort foods. So with that being said, let's begin. So the first thing that you could do is evaluate your stress. What was the situation that happened that led you to eat your whole pint of ice cream and your bag of chips? Take a minute to process that, um, jot it down if you have to, take a walk in the park, whatever you have to do to really um, assess that situation and see what difference would it make if you ate your whole pint of ice cream, um, will you still feel that same way if you finish? Um, there has been research that showed that comfort foods only last for about three minutes. That feeling that you get, it only lasts for about three minutes. So take a minute and think, will you feel better after eating that? If so, then, hey. The second way to stop emotional eating is by getting familiar with your eating pattern. A lot of times we don't know how unhealthy we're eating until we look at ourselves in the mirror. And when I say mirror, I mean keeping track of our food by using a um, food log, like an app, or having like a food diary somewhere near. So I actually did a workout program um, one time and it was like for three months. The trainer wanted us to keep a food log of everything that we ate during that time frame. And y'all, that was a rude awakening for me because I didn't know how bad I was eating during that time. Um, actually, I wasn't eating too bad, but a lot of the things that I thought was good for me actually had a lot of um, sugars in them, like the juices I was drinking and what else? During that time, I wasn't drinking enough water and I wasn't um, having enough protein in my diet. So I wouldn't say having a food log all the time is great because, well, for me, because I don't like to track my food every day, but just seeing that it got me into the right mindset of how much I need to eat and what I need to stop eating. And um, yeah, just opt for healthier choices. The third way to stop emotional eating is by planning out your meals. My husband and I, we actually like to write out a grocery list every week. Um, I used to go to the grocery store and just get things blindly, but that doesn't help me. It might help some of you, but it doesn't help a person like me because I will get anything and everything that I want in that moment. So I have to have more structure when I go to the store. So writing out my groceries and writing out um, what I'm gonna cook during the week, um, it helps me a lot. The next thing you want to do is to be more intentional or strategic when it comes to your snacking. Chances are when you're feeling emotional, you might grab the first thing that you can find in your pantry. But if you're doing what I mentioned in number three, then you're gonna get a healthier snack. So when you're feeling emotional and feel like you need to eat something, um, because you're down, you're gonna grab that apple or you're gonna grab that bottle of water and you're gonna have that instead of your cookies and a slice of cake. The last thing that I'll mention that'll help stop your emotional eating habit is to get distracted. Eating because it's there or because you're bored shouldn't be the reason why you're stuffing your face. So instead, when you're feeling stressed or you feel the need to go to that comfort food, go get distracted with something creative. Whether you like to draw, write, or um, whatever your creative outlet is, go for that because that's gonna help to reduce that stress and give you that joy that you're trying to find in your favorite food. These five things that I mentioned help to increase awareness with yourself as well as your selection of foods that you choose to help you during that time. I hope this was helpful for you guys. And as always, I will talk to you next time. Bye beautiful.